Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to troubleshoot a refrigerator that's not cooling. If the compressor doesn't start at all regardless of what the thermostat is set to, chances are the PTC starter relay has failed. The PTC relay is also known as the motor starter on this wiring diagram on the back of the refrigerator. This circle with the two windings in it is the compressor, and the PTC relay or starter basically controls the current to the start winding and then shuts off allowing the run winding to take over. On the back of the refrigerator, you'll notice next to the compressor, there's this plastic enclosure. Unplug the refrigerator for safety, then you can remove the single screw that holds the enclosure to the compressor's body. I start by unplugging the thermal protector just to make sure it's not in the way of removing the starter. And now the starter itself just pulls right off. I'm a bit concerned by how wobbly it feels. We'll find out more if that's a problem later. The wiring connections inside refrigerators and other appliances can sometimes be really tight, so you may have to very carefully use pliers to pull them off. Be careful not to damage the connectors though, otherwise you'll need to replace them, and that can be difficult. Before testing the relay using a multimeter, check it for any signs of physical damage or burn marks. Next, set the meter to continuity mode and measure between the line and neutral contacts. You should see an open line or infinite resistance. Next, insert the multimeter probe into one of the holes in the back, then check for continuity between the hole and either the line or neutral contact. You should see continuity between the holes and either the line or neutral contact, but not both. In addition, there should be continuity between the two holes in the back. Everything tests good with the multimeter. However, when I initially removed the starter, it felt quite loose and the connectors on top seemed to be wobbly. Just to be safe, I'm going to try replacing it because a universal replacement is only $8. Here's the replacement. I did have to transfer over the silver and gold connectors. They just pull off the old relay with a pair of pliers and push on to the new one. Next, I can connect the new relay to the wiring on the refrigerator. These connectors just push right on. Make sure to reference the wiring diagram on the back of the refrigerator though to make sure you're connecting everything correctly and to avoid any short circuits. These connectors can be a bit tight and require some force to push in all the way, so make sure everything is fully connected and secure. These two holes on the back of the starter match up with the two pins on the compressor. The starter will only fit in one direction, so you don't need to worry about polarity. You should feel a satisfying click once it seats into place and the connection should be firm. Double check that your wiring is correct and then replace that plastic cover. On my refrigerator, there's the small plastic insert that goes on the bottom of the cover. If yours has this, make sure it's installed. Then you can just push the cover back into place, being careful not to pinch any wires, and then reinstall the screw. After reinstalling the cover, you can then plug the refrigerator back in and see if it works. When I plug the refrigerator back in and set the thermostat to the lowest setting, the compressor starts right up. As you can see by this thermometer, everything works and the refrigerator is now cooling. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. I'll have a link to buy all the parts needed in the description and I'll see you all next time.